Hello, my name is Trudy and I'm from Hertfordshire Family Services, Broxbourne. Today I'm going to read you a story. Now let's have a look inside my story basket. I can see some of the characters. I wonder if you'll be able to guess about the story when I get some of them out. First, I've got Mr. Wolf. Uh oh, he features in a lot of stories, doesn't he, Mr. Wolf? Yes, he says. He's very pleased about that. Let's put him over here. And I've got a hen. Not any old hen, but mother hen. She's very special. There you go, mother hen. Be careful standing too close to that wolf. Hmm. This isn't a character, but it's one of my important props. It's a pan, a saucepan. Have you guessed? The story is called Stone Soup. And it's retold here by Tony Ross. I'm going to read some of the words and then show you the pictures. One day, out walking, the bad, bad wolf came across Mother Hen. She was pegging out her washing. He studied the things hanging on the line and he had to admit they looked of the finest quality. Hmm, thought the wolf, there are goodies to be had here. So he stopped for a chat. And there he is, having a little chat with Mother Hen. Good day, said the wolf. I think I shall eat you and then steal all of your goodies. Oh, thank you very much, squawked Mother Hen. But um, before you do that, perhaps you'd like some soup. Oh, it's very kind of you, smiled the bad, bad wolf. I'd like some soup and then I'll eat you. Do you think she has a plan? She might do. Mother Hen picked up a stone from her garden. I'll make stone soup. Stone soup, she said, is very special. Huh? It must be, said the wolf. I have eaten soup in all of the best places, all of the best restaurants, and I have never heard of it. Mother Hen boiled some water and dropped the stone into the pan. Have you ever heard of stone soup? Can't say that I ever have either. As the wolf couldn't believe that soup could be made from a stone, he sipped a little bit from a spoon. <coughs> it tastes of hot water, he said as he spat it out. Well, of course it does, snapped Mother Hen. It just needs a little salt and pepper. Hmm. It needs that to bring out the flavour. So while I'm doing that, why don't you just wash a few dishes for me? Oh, right, said the bad, bad wolf. And he got on with washing the dishes. When the wolf had finished the dishes, he tasted the soup again. He howled. It's worse than ever. It tastes like hot salty water now. Uh, maybe a couple of carrot 
chips will help the flavour, said the hen. And she dropped them in the pan. Now, while you're waiting, perhaps you could clean and dust the house? Uh, right, said the bad, bad wolf. And he started cleaning and dusting the house. The wolf tasted the soup again. It's not much better, he said. Potatoes, cried Mother Hen. Lest did I forget the potatoes. And she went to dig some up. And she put them in the pan. Now, while you're waiting, do you think you could bring the washing in? It's starting to rain. I don't want it to get wet. All right, said the bad, bad wolf, and he brought the washing in. Mother Hen let the wolf taste the soup again. It's better, he said. Yes, 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 but not quite right, fussed Mother Hen. Now wait while I get some turnips. Now then, let me see. This is not a turnip. It's a parsnip. It's all I could get, but it makes soup taste yummy. Now, while she was putting the turnip in, she gave the wolf a tiny axe and she pointed to a huge tree. Now then, when you've finished chopping that tree down for me, she said, the soup should be just about ready. Uh, well, okay, said the bad, bad wolf, muttering away to himself. Right and he started chopping down the tree. When the tree was cut into logs, the wolf tasted the soup yet again. Oh yes, that's fine, he said. Let's eat it now. Mother Hen took a sip. Ah, uh, no, 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 not yet. I think a sprout or two will help with the flavour. Hmm. It will really complement it. And while you're waiting, be a sweetie and fix the TV aerial on the roof. Ah, all right, said the bad, bad wolf. And he climbed onto the roof and started to fix the TV aerial. The soup smells delicious, panted the wolf as he climbed down from the roof. Hmm, said Mother Hen. Now there is something else missing. Um, <gasps> mushrooms, that's what it is, mushrooms. And she popped the mushroom into the pan. Now, while you're waiting for the mushrooms to cook in, smiled Mother Hen sweetly, you've just got time to sweep the chimney. Right, snarled the bad, bad wolf. And he climbed up the chimney and started to sweep it clean. By the time the wolf had finished the chimney, Mother Hen had thrown some beans, a little cabbage, a few lentils and some marrow into the pan. And proudly, she gave the wolf a taste. Who would have thought it, he said, that a stone could make such glorious soup? And he gobbled it all up. Oh, I'm so glad you liked it, said Mother Hen, as the wolf finished his soup. You can eat me now if you like. I can't gasped the wolf. I'm too full. Oh, well, fancy that, said Mother Hen. You'd better steal all my goodies then and be off with you. The bad, bad wolf leapt to his feet with a terrible roar. roar. And do you know what he did? 
he took the stone. The stone that made the soup. Can you see him jumping up with his terrible roar? I bet Mother Hen was a bit scared that he might have changed his mind, don't you? But no. He snatched the stone and he took to his heels, never to be seen again. There we are. That's the story of stone soup. I like making soup with all the things in the bottom of the fridge. I call it bottom of the fridge soup, but I have to admit, I haven't yet used a stone. Well, it's time for me to finish now. Finish and say goodbye. I hope you really enjoyed this story. It's another one of my favorites. Bye for now.